Hello guys and welcome to this video where we're going to be talking about PTD and my fitness pal. Some of the updates that have happened recently with my fitness pal and what new features have been included into PT Distinction to deal with these new updates. has actually happened with my fitness pal over these past few months well some of you may have noticed the integrations have changed inside pt distinction this has happened because of an update over at my fitness pal they've changed their policies and their terms and conditions based around how third party integrations work with things such as pt distinction and other software out there that uses the food diary settings inside my fitness pal so basically they've changed it now so the data that is sent from my fitness pal into the likes of PT Distinction and other software is limited. Before, we could get as much information as we liked. So we could pretty much get daily macros, daily calories, a breakdown of every single meal that was consumed by your client and all their macros for that. In fact, everything we actually really need to know could be sent from MyFitnessPal into PT Distinction. So as a trainer, you could look inside your client's dashboard and you could see exactly what they've been consuming throughout the day and not just the overall figures. Now, that was actually a big step ahead of pretty much every other software on the market when it comes to online personal training. Most softwares only really had the overview for the day, but Peter Distinction managed to get this deal put together with MyFitnessPal to allow that integration to happen. Now, a few other softwares had different levels of integrations with MyFitnessPal, but a few months back, they decided to change things a little bit, and they wanted to limit what data was sent out of MyFitnessPal into software such as PT Distinction. Now, there's probably a number of different reasons for this that we're not going to go into inside this video. I'm sure they had uh, many reasons why they thought this was the best step for their company to take. Uh, like I said, that's not what we're here to talk about. Um, our job over at PT Ninja is to try and help you guys make the most of uh, PTD and your online fitness business. So that's what I want to do here and focus on what it is we actually have now and not the reasons why it actually happened in the first place. So this change has now been made. So what does that actually mean for you and what does that actually mean for your clients? Well, let's start with the most important thing. What does it actually mean to your clients? Well, absolutely nothing has changed from your client's perspective. Your clients can still connect MyFitnessPal to your app. They'll do it exactly the same way. They will log into your client portal. They will go to add-ons and they'll select MyFitnessPal and they'll put in their details in order to go and um, connect MyFitnessPal to your food diary. Um, the biggest change, what happens from the trainer's side. So, as far as your trainer, uh, trainer side is concerned, when you log in now, you're going to see less data from MyFitnessPal. What you'll basically see is a uh, overview of what your client has consumed at the end of each day. This is going to give you a breakdown of the total calories and the macronutrient breakdown uh, from what they've consumed in their food diary based on what they've entered into my fitness pal so you're going to get the overall data which obviously is extremely useful you're going to need the overall calories you're going to need the overall macro breakdown um, but what you're not going to get anymore is an individual meal breakdown so you're not going to see exactly what they've eaten uh, at each meal and the breakdown of those that's the biggest difference at the moment uh, when it comes to the trainer side but like i say from a client side there isn't any difference now if you was having, you know, if you had clients that are already integrated into Peter Distinction during this changeover that happened with MyFitnessPal, then you may have to ask your clients to reconnect MyFitnessPal again to the PTD software. And as a reminder how to do that, it is simply for them to log into their client portal, to go to add-ons, select MyFitnessPal, and follow the on-screen instructions. So that's all you need to do for that, and it should reconnect them back again. Now, some of you may notice inside your PT Distinction account, if you go into a client's account that already had a connection with MyFitnessPal set up before everything was changed over. So these are older clients that you've got. You'll notice there's a small link at the top that allows you to click it that takes you through to their food diary. So this link will take you directly through to their food diary in MyFitnessPal on the MyFitnessPal website. Now you'll notice that's only for some clients, not for all clients. The reason for that is before MyFitnessPal made this change, and bear in mind they made this change at pretty last minute, they didn't give many, many companies warning that this is actually gonna happen. What Peter Distinction decided to do is go into the accounts and if your client had a public shared diary, so this is a public shared diary that people can access anywhere with a link, they took that link and they added that link into the food diary in Peter Distinction so you can see the overall macros, like I talked about earlier, the overall calories like you normally would do in the food diary. But you can click on that link and it takes them through to their publicly shared diary on MyFitnessPal. That's what that link is inside there. 
Like I said, that will only work for past clients. So clients that you had, that were already active, that already had an integrated MyFitnessPal and had their diary set to public before the change was made by MyFitnessPal. Now, if you have new clients that you've added in since that change, or if your clients didn't have a publicly accessible food diary link, then that won't appear inside there. So if you find that you've got some clients have this link, some clients don't have this link, that's the reason why uh, that has actually happened. So that's where we are with the whole MyFitnessPal situation at the moment. What can we actually do about that? And like I said, over at PT Ninja, our job is to help you make the most of uh, PT Distinction and most of all the features you've got and help you master your online fitness business. And that's what I want to do right now. So the first thing I want to talk about are some of the changes that PTD have made. Um, some of these changes were coming through anyway. There's going to be a bit, there's going to be a big update to the food diary. And um, there's still some updates to go with the food diary that's going to be coming over the next few weeks and few months. Um, but uh, I want to talk a little bit about those, what's actually coming up with them. And I also want to talk about some other things you can do with MyFitnessPal to help you. So if your clients do prefer to use MyFitnessPal, or maybe you do, um, you can still use MyFitnessPal. And I'm going to show you how you can do a little bit of a workaround in true PT Ninja style, uh, where you can actually get hold of your public's uh, your client's public share link and have that connected into PTD so you can view their food diary at one click of a button. So that's what we're going to work on today. So before we jump into that cool little workaround, um, I want to go and show you some stuff inside PT Distinction. And we'll, um, yeah, we'll, we'll go and uh, take a look at what this new food diary feature is and how that all works in here. So let's go and bring up my screen inside here and let's take a look. So here we are inside PT Distinction, we're inside my test account here that we use over at PT Ninja. And I'm going to go and open up a test client in here. I want to go and show you a couple of things. Let's do an ash test. Uh, any of these will do. Loads of ash tests in here. And I'm going to go into my setup and I'm going to go into tracking. We're going to go to the food diary here that you can see is active. So all this works in exactly the same way as it did before. So you might be thinking at the moment, okay, this food diary looks pretty similar to what it was like before. There's not a huge amount of changes inside here. And we still have the connect my fitness pal option up at the top here. And all you need to do is just log in with their details to connect to my fitness pal. So if you want to do it, that's how you would do it. Uh, if your client is going to do it, then obviously they will do it from their side. As I mentioned before, through the client portal and clicking add ons and choosing my fitness pal, and that will connect it up to this. But all you're going to see at the end of this is the overview details of my fitness pal at the bottom. You're just going to see the, the daily review and the weekly review of the data, kind of like you did before, just without the breakdown. We've already talked about that. I want to talk about these new things that PTD have actually included. Well, the first thing they've included is a built-in food diary that allows you to do pretty much exactly the same thing as MyFitnessPal did. So if you click on add up here, it allows you to add in a meal. So this is, again, similar to what we had before. So I'm just going to call this uh, meal one. You can literally name these whatever you want to. Your clients, of course, can write a description inside here. It's going to put food in, or they can upload a photo. Exactly the same as what it was before. However, you'll notice now we have step one of two. If you click next, it's going to take you through to this food diary here where you can go and search for different food. So if I click inside here and I can search, uh, I don't know, grapes, and I can choose whatever options I want inside here, and it's going to open it up. I can adjust the quantities down here, and I can just go and add that in by clicking save into the food diary. Now, when I added something from the PTD food diary, you can see inside here, we actually get a breakdown of that particular meal. We get the total daily calories and macros down here, and we also get the weekly summary at the top before. So very similar to what we had with MyFitnessPal before. The other cool thing about this as well, if you use this and your client is also using MyFitnessPal at the same time, you'll actually collate all that data together. So you'll get this summary down here and the summaries of what they put inside here for MyFitnessPal and for the PT Diary all together in one place. So it actually summarizes everything just to make it nice and easy for you to access the information that you need. Now, just to let you know about this food diary inside here, it's exactly the same database as the MyFitnessPal database, which is always a useful thing to know because MyFitnessPal's database is a public database. Anyone can actually access it and, and make use of it. And that's exactly what PTD has done here. They're using exactly the same database as MyFitnessPal. Now, there's going to be some new updates coming into the food diary as well I want to quickly talk about now. Some of the big ones, the main ones, is going to be the ability to really adjust portion sizes and portion control. And the other side of this as well is the ability to scan food items so just like before we had a barcode scanner in my fitness pal there's going to be one built into the pt distinction apps for your clients that are going to allow them to use this which means of course the pt apps are going to be updating as well to actually deal with this new version of the food diary that will be coming very very soon 
Now, at the moment, some of these updates um, are inside most of the apps for PT Distinction, also inside some of the custom apps as well. Like I said, there's going to be lots of new updates coming through in the not-too-distant future. Uh, like I said, the barcode scanning, the portion control size, and many other things are going to be coming as well around this. But I want to make you aware of this solution that's been put in here. Like I said, it's been pushed through early by PT Distinction to deal with these changes made at MyFitnessPal. Uh, but this is where we are right now um, with the food diary. Now, the other thing I mentioned this side here is a workaround of how you can use MyFitnessPal with this. So if you were to connect MyFitnessPal, the only thing you'd actually get is this at the end. So you get this daily uh, macro totals of data, and you'd also get this up here as well, the weekly summary. You just wouldn't get this breakdown in the middle. But you may want to go and have a look at what your clients have eaten. So you've got two options here. One option is actually to use the PTD diary as well and ask them to take photos of it and upload it. It can work really, really well if you're doing that. So obviously, they're going to have to go into two apps in order to do that, which might not be ideal for your clients. So here's something what you can do. You can get your clients to send you their public shared diary inside MyFitnessPal. So the best way to do that uh, is to use a form in order to go and do it. So I'm going to head back into the client's account. And what I'm going to suggest we do here is not build this directly inside the client's account, but actually do this inside the group just to make it a little bit easier. So I'm going to go to groups in the top corner. and I'm going to click Add Group. I'm going to go inside here and just call this uh, My Fitness Pal. And we're going to create a My Fitness Pal group, which is going to help them do everything inside here. So I'm going to click on this and click Add and click OK. So let's go and open up the My Fitness Pal group. Just like so. So at the moment, this is completely empty inside here. This is the first thing I probably want to go and do is switch on the food diary because I'm going to try and keep everything to do with My Fitness Pal inside this group. You don't have to do it this way, um, but I'm just going to demonstrate this because I think this is the most effective way to do it. So I'm going to go and set new status to new members on joining and make sure it's activated. Uh, do I want to schedule a food diary? If you want to send your clients a reminder to complete the food diary each day, then go ahead and do that. Let's do that in this example. So I'm going to go days after joining. I'm going to start on day one. I'm going to do it pretty early, so 8 a.m. I'm going to repeat this every day. Let's do it for, let's say it's a 12-week program. I'm just going to put inside here, uh, please record your meals in my fitness pal today so we're giving our clients a little reminder to record their meals in here so click save and click ok we're going to copy it through so now in the schedule we have a little reminder going out each day for them now, another cool thing you might want to do inside here is add some kind of document to explain to your clients how to connect my fitness pal and we're going to do this in two different ways one is going to be the main way which is download the app and connect it into your add-ons area the other way is we're going to use a form in order to get hold of your client's shared diary link. So we want to put a document here to go and do that. So I'm going to go up into the um, add items up here. I'm going to go into coaching up at the top. And I'm going to go and open up our text documents inside here. And inside here, you can actually write in however you want them to do it. So you can add all the information that they need in order to go and um, set up MyFitnessPal, download it, and connect it to the add-ons area and share their diary with you. Um, I've got some stuff made already inside here. So I'm just going to go and open that up. So let's have a look inside here and we'll try and find it. Uh, we've got it in here somewhere. I know we have my fitness pal. So da -da -da. there it is. Download and set up my fitness pal. We're going to drop this in here. So there you go. You can see we have our document inside here. We have a little video just walking them through how to go and do that. Um, inside here, I've also got like the first steps, explains how to use MyFitnessPal, um, and just going through it in details and how to integrate that into the members area. This includes how to do it in the add-ons and also how to do this next step, which is using the forms. So I'm going to save that, click uh, OK, and I'm going to schedule that um, to the start of the group. So I'm actually going to schedule this on day zero at 9 a.m. because I'm probably going to add this group when I'm ready for the client to join MyFitnessPal. If you're going to get them to sign up to this straight away, then you might want to do it on joining. It's entirely up to you. But I'm going to do this at day zero at 9 a.m. because of the way I'm going to use this group. So I'm going to drop that in. So now we can see we have our food diary all set up and we have our MyFitnessPal here. In fact, I'll have that at 8 a.m. to make it easy. So now it's really clear to our clients what they actually need to do to go and set things up. But how are we going to get this link off them and the easiest and simplest way to do it? Well, the way we're going to do that is by going to ads and we're going to go and do a form and questionnaire. So I'm going to click on the form and questionnaire and I'm going to do a custom form. And inside here, I'm going to put in here, um, send us your my 
fitness pal diary access and then i'm going to make this live straight away click ok i'm going to say yes to go and edit the form so inside this form we're going to build out a form that's going to allow us to collect the information from my fitness pal and again you want to add lots of clarity inside here so the first thing i just pull on top of here in the header and just write in something like um step one access your my fitness pal account and then click close and then what we do is i'd put a paragraph down here and i'll just explain what you want to do in a bit more detail so it'd be like log into i'm not going to write all these out don't worry <laughs> log into uh, my fitness pal uh, account and head over to your settings nice and simple close that off i'll then put another header in and i'm going to do step two set your food diary settings We close and I put another paragraph in again, adding this clarity inside here. Anyone that watches any of my stuff or Jed's stuff, you'll know we're big on clarity and making sure it's as clear as possible for your clients. So inside here, what we do here is just put in uh, look for your food diary settings and choose the option to make your food diary public. And then click close. Next one, I'll put a header down here again. I'm going to edit this and I'm going to put in step three. Share your food diary link. And again, I'll put a little paragraph down here just explaining this in detail to them. Just saying, um, you will now see a link to your food diary please copy this link and add it to the box below and click close and then what i do is add in this either text field or text area doesn't really matter which one it's going to drop that in and put inside here required because we need this information from them before they save it um your public shared my fitness pal food diary url and then just hit close inside here and they can go and add that in the other thing i might actually include at the top here is that you need to do this on a computer as well so i'll put log into your my fitness account on a computer just to make sure they don't do it inside the app you can't do this directly from the app so once you've got this self inside here you can then go and hit save uh, click OK to go and put it into the group. I'm going to head back to my fitness pal here. I'm going to go and put this on the schedule as well because I want the client to have it. So I'm going to go into forms, drop down menu. I'm going to go to scheduling. I'm also going to add this in on day zero. Let's do it at say 9.30. Doesn't really matter what time we do it at really. Click OK to copy it in. Head back over here. Um, I'm going to move that up actually so it's a bit closer to here. So there you go. That's probably the easiest way to do it. So what this means now is when a client first signs up and they get added to this particular group, they will get this information inside here straight away and they'll see it straight away. And it will go for exactly how they can use and connect MyFitnessPal into their account and also how to use MyFitnessPal. And then down here, they have this option to fill in this form, which allows you to send their URL to you. The client will go inside here and they'll complete this form and it will appear inside your account. So what's that all out from a client's point of view? So let's go and have a look at our Ash test client in here. So inside here, we're thinking this client wants to have my fitness pal. So we're going to go and connect all this up for that particular client. So I'm going to go to my groups in the top corner. Hit add, hit the drop down menu. We're going to go and add in our my fitness pal group. Let's go and find that in here. There it is. Now, of course, you could do this using premium packages and have it all happen completely automatically when they sign up. But for this example, I'm just going to do this here. Click add, click OK. That's going to copy over that content into my client's account. So now inside here, I have the information about how to download MyFitnessPal for the client to view. And then 
We've also got the form over here for them as well. So I'm going to go to the schedule to access this. There's the form. The client will come in, view this, open up the form, read the steps they need to do. And inside here, they can put in their URL. So I'm going to put this as a www.testmyfitnesspaldiaryurl.com. Nice and easy. So they're going to put that inside here, and then they're going to go and save that form like so. And that's all saved in there. So what that means now is when you log into your PTD account, you can look inside your dashboard. You can come inside here and think, okay, some clients have actually already sent through their food diary details. If you wanted to, you could filter this down into questionnaires. You can click on this and go, okay, cool. Oh, there it is. There's my client's URL. So I'm going to go and copy that. And then what you can do is you can click on this here. And then you can either do one or two options. You can put it inside your client notes in the top up here if that's what you want to do. So you can access it straight away from in there. Or what you can do is just leave it as it is uh, because then all you need to do to go and access that URL is go to the forms inside here and open up the form. Or you can do it from your activities inside here. And again, you can just go and click on the URL and go and open that up if you want to go and view it. So whenever you click that URL, it's going to take you straight through to your client's diary so you can access it and view it all and all the detail inside MyFitnessPal directly. So there you go. That's um, pretty much everything you need to know about the changes with my fitness pal. Um, that's pretty much everything you need to know about um, some of the new food diary features inside PT and what's coming up. And also that gives you an idea of how you can access your client's food diary in detail through my fitness pal if you want to get a breakdown of everything. Right, that's it from me. Um, I hope this has been extremely helpful. I uh, hope you got plenty out of it. As always, if you've got any questions, please let us know. There'll be somewhere for you to leave some comments around this video, whether that's on YouTube, uh, whether it's on the Facebook group or on the Facebook page, or of course on the uh, blog, on the website. Um, you can leave comments around and let us know. I'll do my best to try and help. Uh, and of course, if you want to find out more information about uh, PT Distinction and how to master your online fitness business, please do come and check out our YouTube channel. Come and check out our Facebook group and our Facebook page. And also come and check out our blog as well. And of course, if you need any extra help and support um, with your PT Distinction account and your online fitness business, why not come and see us over at PTNinja.com where you can find out more about our um, now famous uh, PT Ninja 101 course that's really going to help you master PT Distinction and really take your business online. So if you're a PT and you're not quite sure how to take your business online um, or not really sure how to make the most of PT Distinction and your online fitness business, the PT Ninja 101 course will be a great option for you to go and have a look at. And of course, we have our done for you service as well, where you can work one to one with me and the team. And we'll actually get to work on setting up everything inside your PT Distinction account, do all the integrations with other software, create any of the content for you and build out the systems in your business so you can make a, a online coaching business that's scalable without limits. Anyway, that's it from me and I'll see you all soon. Cheers, everybody. Bye. -bye.